I love I love Vicar Street so much that um, I can't even say because when I say Vicar Street, I get a well up. Well up. Oh, well, oh, well, yeah. It's good to see comics well yeah, yeah, it's, it's the roof. Oh, I like I the you, roof. It's nippy tonight, isn't it? If Richard Pryor was here, he'd be shaking like a leaf. <laughs> yeah, he was. He What's going on? What's happening? Well done, you with your hair. That man there. Before we go anywhere, look at the cameraman completely the wrong way around. Look. Not her hair. Look at you. Did you get your own bleeding camera? Are you all right down there? Look at this. Look at it. Look at it. I want my own cameraman. I've had my hair done. Now, that costs 50 euros. And Peter's marks, so you get it there and you get the picture. The makeup was 57 euros, and you're drinking the wine. You, you've got no head. Well done. <laughs> That's good enough, though, people. It's really bad. Holy man, what the fuck? I didn't even think, what the hell is this? <laughs> what? <laughs> this. Oh my god. Yeah, I think I'll bring the most hideous bag that I own in the wardrobe. What have we got? Dead children in that? No, please! Please, we don't want to go! You're coming to the gig! Come on! But mommy, we want to go to bed! Shut up! Oh my god, you can get in! Oh no, I've broken everything, have I? But it's nice, uh, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, is there fragile stuff on the bottom of that bag? There is! Oh shit! <laughs> jingle, 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 jingle. What's in the, there's nothing in the, I'm not gonna go in there, because look at all the women. Don't go in there! Don't you dare! Look at that bloke! <laughs> Open it! <laughs> Open the bag! There might be knickers in it! We'll wear them on my head and sit in the jacks! Get the knickers! <laughs> So you're not betting on the winner? Winner comes second to the favourite. Winner comes second to number one. All right, can I have uh, 10 euros on Shelly the Babe? Two tenors on my five. Give us... Oh, I want a tenner. Two way for you. Probably give your chance. Give us... I'm going to go for Karen's Lee. Yeah. Five to two to five. Karen's Lee is in. Right, they're off. How quick was that? Oh, oh my god, I still don't understand what he meant though. You've got two chances. He's just saying. Did you catch any of that? Yeah, no, he just said if second comes first, then you're you're in with a good one. And if your ma rings you, you're you're gonna win as well. Hang on. What's your win? 
Number six. What you got? Like five. Yay! Thanks. Yeah, what was it? Oh, man, that's amazing. Where did Shelly the Babe come? Nowhere. Unfortunately, nowhere. Do we, did we not I'm win? Did we not win with the thing with the lingo you said? Yes. No, you see, you have to. You have to win the race or finish and second in the favorite. Why have you got the race? You just not like that now. Tell my race. We're giving you two chances to win your money. Yeah, but this you, is you won our money though. Well, unfortunately, you never picked the right one. Well, but you're down a tenner. So are you? No, I'm not in bet. <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't bet because I went to bet and, and, the, and the bell went. Do you yes. understand it? I did. Look, me and Doc go back a long, a long way. You know what I mean? Doc knew what was going on. I usually, I usually uh, start by explaining my name. I don't know if you caught it on the uh, uh, on the introduction. I've got a slightly unusual name. My name is Michael Mee. My surname is M E E Mee. Right. It's not a stage name. It's my real name. It's a difficult name to grow up with. I give you an example. My brother had a kid recently. Great debate in the house as to what to call the kid, because our name is Mee, and he was all set to call him Pat. <laughs> I didn't think it was a great idea. Um, the second choice was Pierce. Um, I do like the name Ulick. Um, and there's always Roger, um, honestly enough. I was thinking of a stage name of Roger just for the posters, because I quite like the idea of my photo around Dublin and over it would be Roger Me. For one night only. <laughs> I think, uh, might be nice, but it's amazing how many names are ruled out with a name like mine. I can't call my daughter Marry Me, Carry Me, Sue Me, <laughs> Mini Me. Can't call my son Mark Me, Lance Me, Spike Me, Ewan Me. <laughs> Rob me, fill me, deck me, stew me, nick me, pam me, buzz me, bill me, gore me, sting me, bend me, shape me, any way you want me. My mother misses me. <laughs> the nicest review I ever got was uh, his corks answer to Woody Allen. And that was is like I cried. <laughs> well, I didn't, but I should have. But you know, that's what I'm aiming for: is that kind of level of care and attention. And you know, I mean, you know, other people write in different ways, but I'm up in my room going, "Oh, I can't wait to try this out." Look, you know. So. One sign I really hate: you get in a taxi. Thank you for not smoking, Jola. Thank you for not smoking. I'm looking at that thinking, "Thank you for not smoking." No, you're not. You're telling me not to smoke and pretended to thank me. Thank you for not smoking. Then I started thinking of all the other things I could do in his taxi. That he could thank me. An awful lot more for not doing. He should have signs all over his taxi. Thank you for not taking a hammer out of your pocket. Smash me over the head and taking all my money. Thank you for not taking down your pants and doing a big crap on the back seat of the car. How about a sign saying, thank you for not walking? <laughs> thank you for clapping. Do you know that walking is an Olympic sport? How did that happen? Did you ever watch them? Did you ever watch the walking? Did you ever watch them? Huh? Yeah. Where is the job satisfaction? What kid ever looked at the television and thought, when I grow up, bing, it's the only sport based on not doing something, which is not running. They're just going, don't run, whatever I do, don't run. I mustn't run, don't run. It's like men having sex, don't come, whatever I do, don't come. <laughs> the only thing is the most frustrating thing in the world. Can you imagine one guy, he's always last. He can never catch anybody, always last. 10 years of this. Don't you think one day he just go, <laughs> <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> Yeah, it was brilliant. The audience was really fantastic, and uh, I'm great. <laughs> Do you like doing comedy? 
Um, it's comedy a bit of a gamble. Yeah, yeah, it is a bit of a gamble. Yeah, you know what I mean. I mean, certainly with the audience. It's you know like what I mean? getting up on the stage and you know, in front of the microphone. Is that like getting into a trap? Yeah, it is like getting into a trap. It's like it's like it's like um, eating out of a bowl. And you know, comedy is like eating out of a bowl, a bit of water. Like like push you onto the stage by the arse. Yeah, what happens is, well, actually, no, it's on the side of the stage, and there's uh, six comics get put into the traps. Yeah. It's first one to the mic. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. Yeah, I was nervous enough. Now I have to say. Clean edit point. And we're in. You know, I do feel that nothing really will tell you that you have a weight problem, like your general practitioner sitting you down and saying, <laughs> Kathleen. <laughs> You've gone very fat. <laughs> and I remember that day so vividly. It, was, it just really stands out because I walked in, I strutted in feeling quite sexy, actually, because I was going in for the pill. So I strutted in and I was really like, oh, this is great, you know, I'm so feminine. I, I, give us a smear test while you're at it there. <laughs> that would be great. And... If you're, what age, like your, your teacher? Yeah. So what age could be your teacher? Uh, four year olds, pretty much. It must be a piece of piss after that. <laughs> I know. Well, it's not a stomach turning, I suppose, but... Uh... No, but seriously, because like, you know, it is, teaching is very like stand-up in that sense of you have to take control of the room. And you have to be entertaining. Not necessarily, if I remember my education. But... <laughs> I found if you ever are taken to task about your weight by anybody, what happens is that as they speak, you actually get bigger. <laughs> so I kind of zoned out and all I could hear was, oh, heart disease in your 20s. And by exercise, Kathleen, I mean walking. And all the time, I was going, I <laughs> just imagine what the camera's doing for me. I just got to the point where I just couldn't take it anymore and I said, right doctor, if you wouldn't mind peeling the chair off me, I have to get to Evans before closing time. It's a... It's really nice, it's really nice to get a clap for that because I know a lot of people don't, don't exactly know what I'm talking about. Evans is one of those shops for big, beautiful girls and I love going to Evans. Yeah, I love going because you do tend to feel thinner by looking at the clothes and also, I feel I need to go, ah, there's no need for that now. <laughs> Sympathy is all very well, but I don't need to be patronised. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I find that also it's useful for me to go in every so often so that I know how big I can afford to get <laughs> before I have to stop wearing clothes. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I mean, there is that part of me that's pretty cool. I'd love it to take off. I suppose it's there, but I try to keep it in check because I really don't want to end up being better, better about it. And I just keep telling myself, oh, it will be a great thing. Have the grandchildren, as, you know, they would. It'll be, you know, it'd be nice to say, well, I was on TV. You really do have hairy arms, though. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> it's just going to leave me here. <laughs> okay, so clean out us. Boom. And we're back in. Uh, I am. Um, I've been away quite a lot recently, uh, doing doing gigs around the place, which is which is fun. Um, I guess one thing that I've particularly noticed in recent times, so often as as someone who's from Ireland abroad, people people they love to come up to you and they love to do their hilarious impersonation of the Irish accent, and it's funny because it's always mildly offensive, borderline racist. You know, <laughs> you know they, oh, really, you're Irish, eh? Jakers, there's a bomb in me potato. <laughs> to be sure, to be sure, to be sure. And I mean, I mean, traveling around, obviously Ireland's famous for, for various things uh, around the world. Uh, we have, the, you know, the incredible history of the whole, you know, going right back. Our indigenous people were the leprechauns. Uh, but, but they died out tragically owing to the fact that they were all male. Uh, <laughs> and that they didn't ever exist. And 
Moving through time then, Ireland, Ireland got invaded quite a lot. And uh, my, personally, my favorite invasion of Ireland is, is the Vikings because they came from Scandinavia and, and they raped and they pillaged. And they're so unlike Danish and Swedish and Norwegian people that I've met, you know, who tend to be quite low key, quite laid back. You know, it was like just one day they woke up and they said, hey, you know, let's not rape and pillage anymore. Let's invent Lego. <laughs> Let's open IKEA shops around the world. In fact, the original Viking longships, they came in a flat pack. So was, you put it together with a tiny little Allen key. So. I didn't really have a set plan. See, that's a terrible weakness of my, of my whole comedy career. I, I never really have a plan. So, so sometimes I go out and talk about very inappropriate things that, uh, well, there's quite a lot of foreign people in who have bad English. You know, you know how it is. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I'm losing. I'm losing. I'm losing. I'm losing. I'm losing. I'm losing. Come on! You can win 220 euros. Come on! Get the sandwich out of your arse. Get the sandwich out of your arse. Come on! Need 20 quid. Come on! Please in the cell, yeah. Please in the cell. Oh yeah, Doc, hand it over. Is that the right one, is it? Six, that's the right one. What about this one? Yeah, you'll have to do another operation in the morning to get this one. Bring it out, look at that! What, how much did you win? I get, what's it? Four, 400 pounds. 800 and what? Yeah, yeah, that's 800 or two we had. Yeah, yeah Doc, right, brew, brew out the scabby fibres, will you? I'll have to do another operation. Yeah, to yeah. Get that so you put a plaster over the one that's going to win? I put the plaster how, over the How much one. did you win, though? I won 80. 80 euros. So hang on a minute, well, I'm up 30. Oh, 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 Should oh. be really good now? If I won. No, if they cut to me in Vicar Street. That'd be fantastic. <laughs> it is mad, though, when you get, when you're mad, because I've got a kid and I live, you know, I live now with the missus and we're good as married anyway. And when you get married, it's amazing. All your girlfriends, lads, disappear. Now, I don't mean like the fiddly one, you know, fiddly fiddly in the bed ones. I don't mean them. I mean like going to cinema or how are you? Or how remember us in school? Yay. They disappear. Because your missus comes down and goes, oh, eh. Uh, do you have your friend, Nicole? Your friend? Yeah. Uh, I rang her up and, uh, oh, what did I say again? Oh, yeah, uh, fuck off! <laughs> I'm your friend, do you understand? I am your best friend. You giggle with me and you sit up all night watching videos with me! I'm your best friend! <laughs> Now, how long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, let's see now. Uh, nine years. You just had a stroke? No, no, that, that, that's, that's me thinking. Yeah, you've no, been doing nine, nine years, yeah? yeah? And you got good last year? Yeah, well, through the halfway to the end of last year, I got really good. Is that yeah. when your sight started going? Yeah, yeah, the sight started to go, and the speech was starting to slur a lot. Well, and the limp came in, and people thought that's That's slapstick. Richard Pryor. Yeah, Richard Pryor. <laughs> I did well with that, yeah. No, but what, what was your big breakthrough then? Uh, I think the... the uh, Funnily enough, it was, uh, 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 what you call it, coming second in Sire Think You're Funny. Who came first? Tommy Tiernan. Whatever happened to that fucker? Yeah, he's gone, isn't he, the old shit Way. with the big curly hair? Yeah, well, he mm. wears a hat, doesn't he? Yeah, he's a Jamaican. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I have got a child, yeah. He's, he's lovely. Well, he's not. He's lovely. He is lovely. He's gorgeous, but he's evil. So, this is what he did, right? He's, he, ba ba what we did, right? We got this ridiculous furniture. I hated it, right? It was crap anyway, right? The missus wanted to get it because it matched the floor and the floor had to match the ceiling and the bleeding. The lamp has to match the curtains and the, her shoes have to match her bleeding arse and her knickers have to match her head. And, but anyway, this is what it was. 5,000 euros for this, right? So, it was suede, right? And when we brought it in, my four-year-old actually stood at the door, right? And he just stood at the door and went, uh, excuse me. <laughs> I heard, yes, uh, are you seriously bringing that into the house? <laughs> and I said, yeah. He goes, well, I am going to destroy it. <laughs> I am four years old. It is my job to completely destroy everything in this house. Now, do you want to put it back in the truck? <laughs> And we didn't, right? We didn't listen to him, right? And on this day, this little... Right? I was in, right, the missus was on the phone. I was in the sitting room with my son, right? So it was her fault she wasn't watching us, right? 
I should have kept an eye on this. And he was looking at me going, something bad's gonna happen, something bad's gonna happen. You're an idiot. So I went upstairs, right? And about three minutes later, I just heard his mother, ah, I'm gonna kill him. So I come downstairs and the missus going, <laughs> right. And I look, we're standing outside on the brown suede couch, right? He'd gotten pseudo cream, right? That's nappy rash cream for nobody that knows it. And he had spread it all over the couch, right? And he knew it was oil based. He knew it was. He's looking, ha ha, they'll never get this out. Brush it in, brush it in. But then, we, then all we could see was little white footsteps. Leading off behind an open door. We went over and, oh God, I opened the door and there he was in his underpants. Covered in pseudo. All over his hair, eyebrows, back, stomach, legs, everywhere but his arse. And he just looked at us and we just looked at him and he just went, look mammy, I'm slipping. You couldn't do anything about him. Because you know, you can't beat them then. Because you go, ha ha, that's a lovely cute remark we'll remember in the future, you little shit. Anyway, I must say, I've had a good time tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for listening. I've been Jason Berg, good night. Now, I've lost a lot of money tonight because of Doc. He was not a real doctor. So I put it to you, my friend, that we set up our own bookies. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Make a bit of cash. Come on, mate. You know what? Blue town. There's six of us. Five to two on the bill. Take a partnership. Three to one, the wood. Nine to two was the time earlier on. Five to six is the figure. Ten honchos and thousand pounds. Yeah. All right then, yeah. Okay, it's in. You've got a, you've got a book with me, haven't you? Yeah, yeah he's got a book right. with me. It's all right. Good man yourself. Let's say 106. 103, please. 103, yeah. Here's your ticket. Yeah, got it there. Put the odds down to one now. Oh yeah, put the odds down to one there, Sean. You do that. Okay, there you go. Best of luck, yeah. Yeah. Two and number four, yeah. Two and number four. Right. Take us one is out. One is out. This one. Take the chalk there. That's 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 good. That stuff. All right then. Let's see. It's about to start. There with the bag, you know, that kind of threw me a bit, but then I thought, you know, the back in and the force came in really well, then and they backed me up there. You know, when it starts off and the ball goes up, you know, I just tend to uh, spit a bit, you know, and uh, just can't stop and spit, you know. Well, come on, the mechanic! Come on, the metal gun! 